Hello Virgo, welcome back to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for our weekly message for October 28th through November 3rd. We will be using the Psychic Tarot Oracle Cards by John Holland and the Rider Deck and the Regular Plane Deck. Okay, so because we want more, more, more information. Okay, I know I do. Okay, so let's get right into it. And hopefully it won't take too long to get these cards down on the table. Okay, angels, what is going on? What is going on for these seven little days? Thank you, angels. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What is going on for Virgo for these seven little days? Do, 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 do. All right, here we go. Do, do, do. A lot of messages. I hope you guys have your tea. Now these, I only want to put them up right. I want all the positive energy that I can get from these cards. Okay, angels, what's going on for Virgo? Seven little days energy for Virgo. Come on, angels. Come on. What is going on? Seven little days for Virgo. Do, 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 do. Bum, bum, bum. Thank you, angels. There's a little bit. There we go. There, uh, there we go. And there we go. And we're only, remember, we're not inverting any of these cards. No, 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 no. Do, 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 do. I just feel, I just feel like we should not invert them. I feel like, do, do, and do. Okay. All right. Now, keep on moving on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. And I like it when the angels, yes, give us all the information. And this is gonna be, I feel like that stays there. Okay, so let's get right into this Virgo. All right, so major theme is the Queen of Pentacles reversed with the universe, three of hearts, and the five of spades. So what is going on here this week? I feel like financially speaking, our values, whatever it is, values, money, they're pretty much the same in my book not yours, my book. Okay, so we're not feeling on top of our game and it could be finance and it could be, oh, yes, am I valuing myself? Maybe maybe it's an undervalue of who you are, right? And the, the universe is saying, hey, 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 wake up, you're undervaluing yourself. And I feel like maybe you need to I feel like Virgo, it's time to go out. It's time to socialize. It's time to see what is out there because I feel like right now you're undervaluing yourself. You're not thinking much about yourself, right? Or you're not thinking highly of yourself, right? It's time to make some change changes. Okay, it's time to, the universe is saying, knock, 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 knock. Yes, it's time to start honoring you, okay? Now, in, in, when we look in the recent past, we have the Two of Swords, uh -huh, reversed with the Emotional Withdrawal card, the Jack of Clubs, and the Ace of Diamonds. So, in the recent past, I feel like we made a decision. It took us a long time, but we made a decision, right? The Emotional Withdrawal, I feel like we, I feel like we kind of released ourselves from something that or we decided to release ourselves mentally from something that was kind of emotionally draining. And I feel like maybe there was someone in our lives that maybe wasn't always telling the truth, or maybe um, you know, this could be a, a manipulator or um, someone who, I, I, feel like, I feel like it was someone who, you know, sometimes people make us feel like it's our fault looking at this up here sometimes they sometimes people can manipulate us and make it feel like things are going wrong or whatever because of uh, something that we've done and I feel like I feel like that's why there was an emotional withdrawal and this ace of diamonds is saying that you came out of this with a new sense of values definitely almost like almost like you are you've rethought it because I feel like you were, you were hurt in a situation and you had to rethink your value system. Now, um, 
In the middle of the week, we have the Nine of Pentacles reversed with the Spiritual Strength card, the Queen of Spades, and the Eight of Hearts. So I feel like once again, with the um, Nine of Pentacles, we are not valuing ourselves, um, um, not putting our values first. Almost like, you, you know, it could be like setting boundaries and then someone walking over those boundaries and that means we're not valuing ourselves. We're speaking our truth. We're saying these, this is the way, this is the way I need it to be, to feel safe and secure. Right. And, and, and someone, you know, just kind of pushes those boundaries, like, like erases that, that gray line moves it just a little bit more. And you're like, but I had it here. Don't move it. Right. So once again, in the middle of the week, you're feeling like you're not being valued. Now the universe, your angels and gods are saying you have the strength to put that line right back where it was supposed to be. You really don't want to do it Virgo because you know, Virgos have a sense of, they want to fix everything. They want to help. They're the helpers, right? So this is not something that you're used to. You're not used to speaking up for yourself, right? So the queen of spades is saying, um, it's time to go within and it's time to do your own personal work and get your power back. Yes, get your power back, right? Um, a sense of walking, I feel like there's a sense of walking over over your values, what you want. Like they hear you, but they're not listening, right? <laughs> right? Okay, so now by the end of the week, Virgo, we have the king of wands reversed mm -hmm, with acceleration, accelerated motion, the king of hearts, and the six of hearts. So I feel like by the end of the week, you're starting to look up. And you're starting to look at things a little bit differently, right? And the acceleration motion, because you're looking at things a little bit differently, things are starting to move. Things are starting to um, go in the direction that you want. Uh, it's like the direction of your power. The king of hearts is like, yes, you got your power back. And yes, you're going to keep it, okay? Your emotional power. So whomever is 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 um, playing, is is tramping trampling over your boundaries or tra trampling over your desires and and things of that nature i feel like i feel like you have the emotional strength to like whoever is moving that line in your life you have the emotional strength to move it back okay now now your bonus is the ten of cups mm -hmm. and the sun card how beautiful is that the two of pentacles mm -hmm. the king of pentacles there's a lot going on here. Uh, the seven of wands, mm -hmm. the eight of wands, ah, the fool, and positive motion forward, wish fulfillment or fulfillment of wishes, power, and sacrifice, a ton of diamonds and four diamonds. Okay, so let's get right into this. Next time we're not going to do that. Okay, so so we're feeling really blessed. We're feeling really, I feel like we've set our boundaries. We've moved that line back and we're feeling very, very happy about that. Yes, so much so that we are feeling like, yeah, I, 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 got, my, I got my power back and, um, and I'm going to keep my power and I feel really good about it. Like you feel really good about yourself, but there is something that you're uncertain about. And I feel like it's, it's this love that, that, um, not love. This is like, this is like um, money. It's, um, the King of Pentacles. It's like, why are you worried about money, Virgo? You can't make up your mind about money. Maybe, maybe someone needs money from you or maybe, um, I feel like it's a return of money. I feel like you're giving money to someone. I feel like I feel like that. And you you can't and and, it, and if it's not money, it's your values. Maybe you're maybe you're thinking about should I should I give a little here? Should I give a little there? Right? And I feel like I feel like because you're sitting in that night position, you, I'm not so sure you're going to do it. You're not so sure you're going to do it. And because you're not sure about it, I see that you. Um, you're sticking up for yourself. I definitely feel that you're sticking up for yourself. And I feel like because you're sticking up for yourself, you are going to be appreciated and loved even more, right? And I feel like you're off to a new journey because of that positive movement forward. Fulfillment of wishes. I feel like this, this is, this is definitely and, and power. This is awesome. Okay. The sacrifice, 10 of diamonds, four of spades, 10 of diamonds, four of spades. Okay. So Virgo, you're feeling undervalued this week. 
the universe is knocking on your door and the universe is saying, hey, hey, you need to get out and you need to socialize and you need to um, see what else is out there because maybe it's a job maybe you feel undervalued at a job um, maybe you feel undervalued in a relationship well if you stay there in that little corner you're never going to know what is out there you're never going to know if there's another job another opportunity another business another friend another relationship you're never going to know if you're sitting in the corner okay so i feel like the universe is saying knock 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 it's time to get up and get out and socialize in the universe now um because and i feel like I feel like you're 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 um you're really working on boundaries. You're really working on you know that line, that fine line, right? And I feel like I feel like someone's gonna push you, Virgo, to make you push that line back where you put it. And you have this spiritual strength to do it. I see you like a sumo wrestler, like you know what? You can push me, but I'm pushing you right back, right? Because now you're aware, you've been out in the world and you're like, hey, I don't have to settle. I don't have to settle for this. Yeah, I don't. I don't have to settle for being undervalued. Now, because of that, I feel like I feel like by the end of the week, you're still, you're still working on this. You're still working on your values. You're still working on your power. You're still working on, um, you're making these changes. Make like, like you don't just make these changes. You make them. Someone counters your changes. You have to show them that you mean what you say. And then you keep moving forward in that direction. Now, because of that, you're going to find joy. You're going to find a lot of peace, a lot of happiness because you set your boundaries. You found your value. You know what you're worth. You know your value, right? And, and this, I feel like it's a, I feel like it's a, it's a, like, you're going to have to push back a little bit for, um, like, I feel like people testing you, people are testing you. Like, do, do they really mean it? Uh, does does Virgo really mean what Virgo says, or are they just talk 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 talk? Well, this week you're gonna have to show. So if it's you, if it, if it's with your children, and you say, hey, if you don't pick up your laundry, I'm not washing your laundry. You're gonna have to show them. I'm not washing your laundry. If it's with your boss and they don't give you that raise, but they expect you to work overtime, you probably won't work our overtime. If it's your partner and and you say, look, I need this this this, and they're not giving it to you, then you know what? you're going to push them away again. Okay. So, and again, and again, until they get it. And when they get it, then you're going to be happy because you set your boundaries and now everything is flowing beautifully, but you got to work to get there. You got to hold your value when it's pushed. You got to push back. Okay. And once you do Virgo, you won't be that doormat anymore. You'll be respected. Your values are coming back and you will be honored. Okay. I send you joy. Namaste and much, much love sent your way.